pretty solid start. Solid enough start for me to even get this amulet. Hopefully we can get lucky and get a cool uh cool item from this amulet. Let's see here. Yeah, we're just gonna buy these and something cool. Amulet of feasting, round one. Damn it, I should have bought this before I bought the garlic. Whatever. Alright, what build are we going for? What build are we going for with this amulet of feasting? There's three builds that come into mind. Just two Falcon Blades. You don't want much, do you? <laughs> True. But there's three builds that come into mind with Amulet of Feasting. The first build is obviously Excalibur, Cheese, Unheal, with Moon. That's the first build. Second build that comes into mind is the Garlic build. So another Excalibur with the garlic, mice, whatever, garlic wall. If we get that on round four. It all depends on what we get on round four, honestly. And the fifth build... I don't know. Not the fifth build, the third, I don't know. Those are, I, I, I don't know. Oh, I guess banana. We could try to go banana. I guess any of those three. We need moon, the banana dude, or the garlic skill. If that's the case, I'm just going to buy all of that. And probably just go ahead and get myself a pan. Oh, man. <laughs> I really wanted to win. Another B dance. We kind of need space. TBH. Should I get a shell totem? I wish you could choose a skill on round one. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. Damn, I don't know if I should get a shell totem. Probably not. I should just put my faith, all of my faith into this amulet of feasting, right? I am not about to sit here and buy a bunch of food, am I? Maybe I, maybe I am. Yeah, we're just gonna put all our faith in the amulet of feasting. All of our faith is going straight into this amulet of feasting. faith into this amulet of feasting we will get a food related skill on round four that is definitely a hundred percent happening some food related skill we shall get on round four i just realized that kind of includes the um <laughs> that, that kind of includes the one food uh the the one with the um the mushrooms <laughs> I don't know if we want the mushroom one, but, you know. All right, here we go. Let's see what, let's see what we get as soon as this round is over. I think we win this. We definitely win this, right? We have chili pepper. We can win anything with chili pepper. Nice. All right, give me, give me a good skill. Good skill, good skill. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> That sucks, bro. That sucks. Let's see. Skill. Can I get any of these on round 10? Round 4 only. Round 4 only. Oh, man. Alright, boys. New plan, right? Ha! New plan. I mean, we could still go like cheese. We can still go because we have power to moon, so we can still go unhealing cheese. Wait, we'll just do that. We'll do like a unhealing cheese, whatever power to moon build situation. Please give me space. I keep seeing food and buying it. I need space game. Space. Why did the game do this to me? <laughs> just like, just blame the game. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. Obviously, I didn't do this to myself. <laughs> it's not my fault I have three garlics and not using them because I don't know when to buy space. Surely it's the game's fault. Clearly it's the game's fault. 
still almost won, too. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Definitely the game's fault. Alright, we need so much space. We just need to buy every single space we see at this point. I wish I was you. I wish I had me freaking hero potion right now. At least we got a magic staff though. Bought this guy for three gold on sale. Can't get any better than that. And got some space. Wow. Alright. I should buy this. I'm just gonna buy it. Give me this now. I mean my minimum manimal <laughs> my minimum mana generation. I won't take the you. No, I'll take this though. Echoes of the raw. Maybe I should not go for unhealing stuff here. I don't know. I don't know. We won anyways. Fuck it. I think I'm fine with just two bananas. I don't need more than that. How much do you sell for two? The one gold loss. In the hopes of getting a cheese. I'll take a cheese. When will I take the cheese? I don't know. But the cheese will be taken. Eventually. And we definitely go cauldron here for that mana generation. Interesting. I don't know why he's going for a build like I, I guess he's he's probably just gonna go for a rainbow goober. That's the only reason I see him doing that. He's going for a rainbow goober. No, I don't want to peanut pulse. Get that thing away from me. I'd happily take a stamina potion though. Think about it. Can I do this with a King Gobert? Can I do this with a King Gobert? I don't know. I never tried it. I don't want to knock it. I guess I'll get this. Nah. I guess we'll just, yeah, that's, that'll work. Okay, maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe? Fuck it, we'll do it. Goobert on sale. Box of riches right there. We'll go for a King Goobert. Do I lose this? He's got mana generation. <laughs> He's got everything I want. Oh shit, never mind. He still might win. Because we have the unhealing staff. I don't think I want any health potions in this build though. That's gonna be way too much space being taken. Way too much space. Shit, the goober is way too much space for real. I don't need you in here. 
Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. I kind of want to get the box of riches in here just to get like the uh, the jewels. I don't need the pan in here. I really don't. I don't need it. It's, it's not doing that much damage. Most of the damage is just strictly coming from Staff of Unhealing. I don't need the pan in here. Okay, that makes things easier. Yeah, I need to start cooking these red jewels. No pan also means I don't need bananas, I guess. We could probably just mid-max um, this guy. I should just move you up. It'd be like how I, how I had it. Okay, so just a bunch of food inside of a cauldron. That's what we got. That's exactly what we have right now. A bunch of food inside of a cauldron. Alright. Until we see that stamina though. <laughs> Ooh, busted blade. Double shell. Ouch. Double ouch. <laughs> I get nothing here because nothing helps. The only thing that helps is Dark Ritual. <laughs> Literally none of this helps me. Unless I get a shield or an armor. I mean, nah, once we get Excalibur, that's going to take up way too much space for me to fit a shield or armor in, especially since we have Goober here. I'm just not going to get anything. Okay. Should probably get an armor slot. Damn, no Gooby. No gooby. Don't even have this is not doing anything for me. Maybe I should try to fit this goober in. Maybe. We lose this. I think I'm gonna try to fit the Goobert in somehow. Nice. We didn't lose. I don't need another toad. I need a stamina. There we go. That's really nice. Honestly, bro, I'm probably just gonna fit you on a door just to fit you on a board, and I don't care about min-maxing you at all. We're just gonna put you somewhere. Put a banana. So we can have a little bit more. What you call a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And in here, you can have that. We need stamina, though. Or ma mana. We need a lot of mana for Excalibur plus Staff of Unhealing. Three blueberries is not gonna cut it. This guy hurts a lot. Need to get armor sockets. That's true. I'm kind of depending on the, the Goobert for that when we get it. Hello. And there's holy armor too. All right. So we need to rearrange regardless. Um, fastest thing will probably be Excalibur, right? Like, that's probably, like, the most important fast thing. Hey, Joe, what's up? One, two, three, four, five. Imagine somebody actually made accounts like that. 
despicable. But yeah, I think this is the fastest thing that needs to be fast. I think we should mega speed the cauldron. Yeah, like max out the cauldron all the way. Agreed. Well, no, you don't go here. You go like here. Because I need a bunch of food around this guy. I'm gonna have to figure out this space situation. Somehow. I could do this. Not to mention we still have this goober, right? <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a really weird setup. That we're gonna have to do. Because everything kind of hinges on it, no? Yeah. It gives the most mana. How am I doing? We're doing pretty good. Did I just call you a goop? No. The game in the. There's an item in the game called Goobert. I was telling that a goob. I mean, you could be a goob too if you want to. <laughs> I have no objections. Be your goo. Oh, my. I don't even know where to freaking begin in trying to get this to work space wise. What in the world? How would you even begin? Maybe this? This is the most important food to go inside of Excalibur, realistically. Second most important is probably stamina. So we'll do those two, and then that single, I don't know what, oh, we forgot about chili pepper though. We forgot about heat. I just need something to go here for real. Oh wait, because I could replace this. still kind of works. I can even move this up by one. No, I can't because the activator right there. Uh, well. Maybe we can like. Yeah, that'll work. Boom. And then we can fit a chili there. Not get a chili goober because we can definitely get a king goober. And that just works. But we still need to make this fast, right? With the remaining food that we have. So let's do that. Guess we'll just uh, do this. Not the fastest thing in the world, but it'll have to do, I think. I feel like I need to do this. Even though I don't want to. What's our stamina? 1.6? You think we'll be fine with just one banana activating off of it? I don't know. I guess we'll just do it like this then. And we can get our Amplify healing in there. And then just get one piggy on the board? Eyes pull viewers? Nah, I got raided by Reharded uh, this stream earlier. <laughs> King stealing mana from egg and unhealing seems bad. Yeah, we need some mana. We need mana orbs. That's what it's just going to come down to. We just need a shit ton of mana orbs. I think we lose this too. He doesn't even have a weapon. There goes the crown proccing. 
Yeah, unhealing staff is just gonna take from Excalibur. Okay, we win this though. This is really good. Oh my god, Jerry to Excalibur. I have to get the Jerry, bro. I have to. I have to get the Jerry. There's no way I don't increase the maximum health with fucking Power of the Moon, Staff of Unhealing, Cheese Goober built, bro. It's just asking to be gotten. And then it gave me a cheese on top of that. <laughs> I need mana, bro. As much as I want all of these items, I need mana. Oh, then we have to get the combination here. Might as well just do this. It is so difficult when you have so many items. And you're like, damn. <laughs> How do I manage everything? I think I just go for straight economy here, though. We'll just go for this. We'll buy cheese next round. And we just hope and pray for a shit ton of mana orbs. That's the only thing we can do right now. Damn, even without the mana, mana generation, we're still doing pretty fucking good. It seems. I have to. All my money's gone. <laughs> All money just gone. But I had to do it, bro. I can't say no to two cheeses. That's like dumb. I had to. This is not a happy gooby. He's not gonna be a happy gooby today, I don't care. Okay, but now we go for mana orbs. Now we go for mana orbs. Three hundred and twenty-six damage. <laughs> Holy shit! And we still don't even have enough mana generation for everything, and we still did that much damage. Mana orb me. I mean, I have to take the blueberries, right? I, I'm not getting that cheese. I don't care. I'm not getting the fifth cheese. Fourth, sorry. I'm not getting it. I get this space though. I can't pick up anything if it's not mana related. There we go. There we go. I don't know where. I mean, this isn't a bad spot. Mana orb is better where the food is activating from Excalibur, right? So... <clears throat> so realistically, this would be a better spot. <laughs> the hole that we're missing would be like the peak area where this freaking mana or but it's the hole we're missing. That sucks. Hold up, maybe I can fix it. I can do this and put like this guy here. I mean, that kind of fixes it. Kind of. And I guess I could do like double here. This guy here. Missing star slot, but maybe that's okay. Well, no, because that, that banana isn't on that star, right? Let's move that. I guess... No, we need... No, no, no. We need, we need Jerry. I forgot about Jerry. 
meet Jerry on a star slot. <clears throat> so put Jerry here? Wait, no, that's not on a star slot. I'm tripping. All right, Jerry, you're going there. That also benefits the food. That's nice. What do you got? All right, that looks good. I'm just kind of sad that the chilies aren't, like, on the Excalibur. That's all. That's the only thing I'm sad about right now, that the chilies are not on the Excalibur. I kind of would like them to be for that heat gain, but meh. I guess this is okay, though. At least we got them affected there. I hate when I'm missing a hole. Why did that just sound bad? <laughs> like, I don't know why, but that just sounded vulgar coming from me. <laughs> Maybe it's me, I don't know. I hate when I'm missing a hole. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? Crazy, bro, this is a crazy... Oh my gosh, we have to beat this guy, please. Act okay, invulnerability! Invulnerability! Oh, we still win. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the burst build of builds. Thank you, King Goober. Thank you. Cause boy, oh boy, would have lost. We would have lost. Do I even get more blueberries? There. Sonya T two. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. Those bows look spooky. Yeah, those bows was spooky as shit. Very spooky. I'm wondering, do I get this blueberry? Because, like, we need it for mana generation. But at the same time, we're not going to be able to fit it on the Excalibur. So that's, like, that's out. Using it for that is out. I mean, I could use it as an activator on this King Goober, though, to be fair. That wouldn't be bad. No mana generation. I could also, like, I could move King Goober down by one. Because we have those, like, we can utilize those two star slots. When we get more mana, we can utilize these two star slots. And we can, like, have the food be an activator for the King Goober. Once the Excalibur is, you know, has enough mana generation to activate all the time. But we're going to need, like, at least two more mana orbs, though. Why did it sound like you pressed a live at Bleebo when you said shit? <laughs> you got that on the- No, I don't have a- I don't have that on a deck or anything. I don't know why it sounded like that. I definitely don't have that set up or anything. Jesus Christ. Hard- This thing was doing a hell of damage! And we still survived that much. Eighty-eight damage a second. Triple oil lamps with the hardwood, bro. Oh my gosh. And Nocturnal Locklifter. I don't even know. I, uh. We were doing like what? Let me look at the mana. Let's look at the mana. So we're, what's that? Gain? We're gaining 4.3 second. And we're using four a second. Does that mean we gain enough mana per second? Already? Nah, there's no way, right? There's no way. Fifty-six heal a second. Overheal is thirty-eight. Maximum health twenty-five. Maximum health every second. Activations. Excalibur activated nine times. Does that mean that probably doesn't mean the mana though? How much mana did the Excalibur eat? Once. It activated nine times, but it only realistically activated once. Oh, thank you so much for that. Can I get another one? Should I buy amulets? No. Probably not. Like, what amulet can I hope for? A red amulet, maybe. I mean, I could hope for the, uh, the energy amulet. Energy amulet would be really good, actually. I 
I could put this... No, no, no. Where would I put this... Uh, what you got? You need a lot more? I do need a lot more. Yo, Oak and Tuck. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. I wonder if I should buy amulets, man. An energy amulet would help so much. That 25% coming back to us would be great. Can I get lucky and get that? Nope. I mean, amplified healing isn't bad. Plus a max heal, I guess. Isn't bad. I could go for RNG. I mean, nah. Blueberry. I don't really want to do that either. Another cheese. Um, I'm gonna test something here. My idea, my other idea, was to move Goober down by one, right? And he used those two star slots as like. Well, it, I guess it wouldn't really work because we don't gain enough mana generation. For the blueberries to really proc every single time the Excalibur procs. But like, let's say we did, this would probably be better. And then we just fill up those two slots somehow. For the, uh, the unhealing staff and then fill this up with like, I don't know, whatever. I feel like that would be better though. But I mean, we did just get this mana orb. Although I don't know where to put it. like there where should I put this maybe here I feel like here would be a good area I'm missing a star slot though kind of I mean we could do this and then put Jerry over here or something of the sorts like this Just put everything back. Uh... Nah, you're coming back over here. No more cheese, though. I can't. I can't with the cheese. Actually, I could. But I'm not going to. I think I just want mana orbs. Like, just give me a shit to, like, one more mana orb and I'll be happy. One more and I'll be happy. Honestly, I might even get this blueberry. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys. Nah, we got fucking five blueberries. One extra blueberry is gonna make that big of a difference. Yeah, we just go for mana orbs. That's the only thing I could think is beneficial right now, is just a bunch of mana orbs. Let's we'll see what our mana generation looks like here, though, with this addition of mana orb. I mean, we're generating a nice amount of mana, to be honest. We just did 520 damage at the end there. 520 damage. All right, let's see how many times... Or no, let's see how much mana Excalibur ate. It only ate 11 again? So it only activated once. Again? <laughs> Staff of Unhealing is eaten up, man. Staff of Unhealing eat up 30 mana. Wow, that shit activated six times and Excalibur is zero. We need so much mana generation. But we're doing pretty fucking good, though. 740 maximum health with only this activating once is pretty freaking crazy. Ma mainly probably because we had Juniper Jerry. Like, Jerry activated eight times alone with no interference from the Excalibur, by the way. Not a single interference. Damn, but yeah, we need, we need mana orbs. I don't think we buy anything but a mana orb if we can find them. Nah. Do I get this? Nah. Nah. Man. Go back to where rerolls are one gold. So I can be happy. Alright, we got a third one though, at the very least. There's that. Um, 
Um. I guess we'll just try. Damn, we need that space at the end here. Maybe we'll be. Maybe. Maybe we'll be. Nah, we still need the space at the end here. We have like, like look at all that slottage. That's just not being used. Uh, it's fixable though. We can fix that, I think. Somehow. Hey chef, how's it going? I'm doing pretty solid. Just cooking up some builds. I'm doing pretty solid, thanks for asking. I guess we could do this actually. I don't know where to fill up those three slots with. I'd say blueberries, but I'm not trying to move those. The only ones I realistically be able to move are these two. Probably not the smartest thing in the world, though. So if I do that. Well, I mean, I do have a toad here, to be fair, so I don't have to move those two necessarily. It just wouldn't be ideal, I don't think. I'd rather have that be there. No matter what this will be for, All right, Mana Orb, where do you want to go? Where will you benefit me the most? Honestly, right here. I'm not going to lie. It's on the Excalibur. It's on the two foods that proc from the Excalibur. Like, probably one of the better spots. It's one less activator on the Goober, to be fair. But maybe that's okay. Maybe. I wonder if there's a better way for us to like do something with this space. Looks good to me. Yeah. I feel like there's a better way to set this up though. Just a, you know, just a little bit. Especially with this cauldron. That's 30% faster right there that I'm missing out on. I mean, I could take some fanny packs off of this uh this Excalibur, right? Since it's not really activating with mana each time. So it doesn't really have to be that fast, and I could utilize the, the space somewhere else, I feel like. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it at the same time, though. <laughs> to be fair. I just see all this extra space over here, I'm like... Why is all this extra space over here? That's what I feel right now. Shiny, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you. And welcome to my stream. I hope you enjoy. Do we just do this and call it? This is a this is a crazy build. It's still a big source of mana without activating. Yeah. This is, I mean, like, look at our mana generation. We have good mana generation. Three mana orbs, five blueberries, a cauldron, and a toad. Our mana generation isn't like shit, right? It's just, this uses up 11, this uses up five, and this also uses up five, or four, rather. You know what I mean? We just need to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, we're even, we're killing people before fatigue even starts, which is the crazy part. We, uh, it is crazy, too. 
Where did we get Ted? I mean, Tim, Jerry, fuck. We got Jerry. Makes it even better. I'm lucky you want to just put you over here, bro. Kinda D. You're gonna D that. Alright, I don't. I guess this is the best we can do for what we have. Oh my god. Oh no! That is our counter. This is our enemy. This is our kryptonite. This is our kryptonite. Oh. Shit. It's an infinite heat. Excalibur. Doom cap build. Holy crap. F, right? That blank spot at the top is awk. I know, right? Makes me sad. Oof L. Yeah. So we're going to have 0% healing. We already know that. And it's an infinite heat build. They're inflicting poison damage. That's what it looks like. It looks like they're just going to be inflicting a shit ton of poison on us. And since we're a build that relies on healing, we're fucked. We might kill them before zero healing, though. I mean, his placement on this mana orb was bad. To be fair, he could literally move this over by one and it'd just be better. Not to mention Mr. Struggles. Three Mrs. Struggles. Ah. And he's also got investment opportunity. Ah. <laughs> Man, I kind of want to try this, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to try it. This is like the... This is like... This is Reaper's version of unfun build. They're not going to have any buffs. They're not going to have any healing. What can kill you? If your opponent has no buffs and your opponent doesn't heal... What build kills you? I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. I don't know. Just something that deals a bunch of damage without buffs or healing, which is probably just Falcon Blade, Lamp, Great Sword, Buster Blade. That's the only thing I think of. All right, let's see what happens here at the start. So he uses the Clovers. Giraffe's going to proc his Halo Fire Lizard. Boom. Infinite heat generator. Boom. We're, lack we we're lacking in mana because Mrs. Struggles. Even though we got triple mana orbs. So that blows. And they're just going to get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And faster and faster and faster. Look how many clovers they have, man. Even with four giraffes, they're still getting just a dick ton of clovers. Are we at 100% unheal? <laughs> Probably. If we do zero, yeah, look at our damage. It's already at zero. Our damage is already at zero. <laughs> like 200 fucking poison. There is nothing we could do there. <laughs> there is nothing we could do there. Nah, this is a crazy build though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of proud at seeing it because it's on a Reaper. This makes me happy. 